Hey guys, so today I'm here with another SQL question that has been asked on Walmart. So let's understand the problem. So assume that you are given a table on Walmart user transactions with the following columns, the product ID, user ID spent in transaction day. So product ID is the ID of the product purchased, user ID is the ID of the user, spend is nothing but the amount spent on the purchase, in transaction day denotes the date and time of the transaction made by the user. Now based on the user's recent transaction date, you have to write a query that retrieve retrieves the users along with the number of products they bought. You have to output the user's most recent transaction date, user ID and the number of products sorted in chronological order by the transaction date. Now chronological order is the arrangement of events from earliest to latest. So let's understand with the help of input table and output table here. This is your input table. Uh, and since you have to output the user's most recent transaction date, user ID and the number of products sorted in chronological order by the transaction date. So your output should look like this. So uh, so let's now just see like how this output has just got derived from this input table. So let's first filter out the rows with the most recent transaction date of each user. Now from the user ID column, you can see multiple user IDs over here and the transaction detail uh, and their transaction uh, details. So if we see for the user ID 123, so if we see for the user ID 123, there are four transactions uh, as we can see here. Two transactions have been made on 8th of July, one transaction on 10th of July and another transaction of 11th of July. So as we can see that the recent transaction is, uh, is made on 11th of July here. So since we, we are just uh, filtering out the rows with the most recent transaction date of each user, so we uh, we are just highlighting uh, the filtered row in green color and uh, we are just eliminating uh, the previous transaction uh, uh, dates by highlighting those rows in red color. So uh, this is uh, how we have actually did. Now if we, if, it, if we see for the user ID 115, so as we can see the user ID, there are two two rows that denotes the uh, transaction details of the user ID 115. One uh, made on the 8th of July and another one made on 12th of July. So as we can see the 12th of July is the most recent one. So again we are just going to highlight the same for uh, this user ID. Now we have only one user ID left uh, with the four transactions. With the user ID 159 it has four transactions. One made on the on the date 8th of July, uh, second on 10th of July and two transactions have been made on 12th of July. So as we can see the recent transactions are of 12th of July so we are just going to highlight the same. So what we have done over here is we have first filtered out the rows with the most recent transaction date of each user. Now we just want to uh, calculate the count of orders uh, based on these users uh, along with the, the transaction dates. So as we can see that for the user ID 123 only one product have been purchased uh, which is the, the product ID 9765. Now if, if we see for the user ID 115 we can see that again only one product have been purchased uh, on 12th of July uh, with the product ID 6536. And for the user ID 159 as we can see that two products have been purchased on this particular date which is on 12th of July. Uh, one with the product ID 7384 and another with the product ID 1207. So our purchase count is 2 over here. So this is how we are just going to uh, uh, we are just going to find our output. So let's now move on to the uh, steps like what steps we are going to follow. Uh, to write a SQL query to get the expected output. You can also pause the video here and think through your approach like what uh, what methods to follow and what actually uh, what approach you are going to uh, apply to get the expected output. So first of all we are going to write a CT to find the most recent uh, tr most recent transaction date for each user. In the second step we will just filter out the most recent transaction dates and in the last step we will just count the number of products for those transactions and we'll just order the results by date since we want uh, we want them in the chronological order that from earliest to latest. So let's now move on to the implementation part. So guys uh, here is how the interface of MySQL workbench looks like. As you can see I have already imported my user transactions table. If I just run this query I will get all the records have been displayed.
so as you can see that this is my input table and since you all know, know that i just want to account the number of products for uh, the recent uh, transaction dates for each user so to do that our steps was to actually filter out the most recent transaction dates of each user so let's move on to the uh, very first step to uh, just write the expected output so here i am going to write my query so i'll just filter out the most recent uh, most recent transaction date for each user uh, the details of uh, those orders so here i and to do that i will just make use of rank window function the, what the rank uh, window function will do is it will just rank the transaction dates in descending order and then we can just able to uh, we we can just able to find the uh, find the details of the orders that have the highest rank so let's just apply that function over here so select from this is my user transactions table and whatever the columns that i want to retrieve i'm just going to write over here so the very first column that i want is the transaction date second i want my user id third i want my product id product id and la at last here i am just going to apply the rank function so i will apply the rank function over partition by so in this case you are going to uh, apply the partition by clause on the user id column since since you want to rank rank uh, the or uh, rank the transactions for each user id here and since you want to do order by transaction date in descending order so you are just going to write that why descending order because you want to give the highest rank to the most recent transaction date so you can just give the last alias as uh, transaction rank so this is your transaction rank now if you just run this query what you will get is you can see that your ranks have been assigned so if you just see the output very clearly you can see for the user id 115 the most recent transaction date as you can see is the 12th of july and it has been given the rank 1 now if you see for the user id 123 with the four transaction the most recent transaction date is the 11th of july that has been given rank 1 and if you see for the user id 159 you can see there are four transactions two transactions two uh, there are two transactions that are the very recent one that have been made on 12th of july and has been given rank 1 to both so as you can see that uh, we have assigned ranks now what we are going to do is we are just going to filter out only the recent transaction dates that means we are just going to uh, apply the where condition uh where the transaction rank should be 1 so it will just filter only the rows of uh, only the details of those users with the recent transaction date so i will just write i will just write this query in a cte i'm just making it as a cte with cte so i will just give the name of the cte say latest transactions as so i've just plugged it into the cte and just writing select star from latest transactions where transaction rank is equal to 1 so what i'm doing here is if i just run this query completely so as you can see that i have filtered i have filtered the rows here so now i just uh, at the last step here i just want to count the products for each user based on their transaction date so at the last what i want to do is i just want to count the products and to count the products i will make use of count function uh, on the product id column so here i can just whatever the columns that i want to retrieve in my output so since i wanted to retrieve the transaction date column transaction date column so i'm just writing the columns that i want uh, to be displayed in my final output so user id and 
and the third column was the purchase count column so here uh, since i told that i'm going to use the count function count function on the product id column so this will display the purchase count now there is one thing that we have to note that we will have to apply the group by clause on the transaction date and the user id column since these two are the non aggregated uh, non aggregated columns and as we already know that non aggregated columns always come under group by clause so group by transaction date comma user id so i hope this is your final output so if you just run this query here you can see that you have got the expected output so as we can see that uh, as we can see that we have output the user's most recent transaction date uh, the user ids and the count of products they purchased uh, based on these dates sorted from the earliest to uh, sorry we have to sort it from earliest to latest so to do that order by transaction date now now you can see that they have been sorted in the chronological order so that's all about uh, the solution of this if you think there is any other approach in your mind please let me know in the comment section also please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials thank you